Hey guys, it's me Ram here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the official WCA scrambler called Tea Noodle and also going to be showing you guys how you can download it for yourselves and use it. Now, some of you OG viewers might remember that I did make a video on Tea Noodle back in April 2020. However, Tea Noodle has changed a lot since then and that video was pretty badly made. Therefore, I decided to make an update. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how you can actually download Tea Noodle. You have to start by going to the official WCA website. Once you're there, you just go under regulations and click on scrambles. Once the scramble tab loads up, all you have to do is click on this Tea Noodle WCA 1.1.1.jar and as you guys can see here, it says you can download the official scramble program here. So just click on it and it'll start downloading instantly. As you guys can see right here, it is downloading. Once it finishes downloading, just open it up. As you guys can see, we have this error that it can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. Just hit OK and follow the following steps. Just open up your system preferences, go to security and privacy and as you guys can see here, we have the same exact error and you just have to hit open anyway. And once again, it's just asking us to confirm, click open will also open up on the browser here. Now before you start using Tnoodle, what you want to do is just click on your downloads here and drag this to the desktop. I actually have this special folder right here for WCA stuff. So what I'm going to do is just drag it into it and rename it like this. WCA Official Scrambler. Now once you're on this page, I don't recommend logging in because it's basically useless and does absolutely nothing extra. Now here's where the fun part comes in, the generating of scrambles. By default, the competition name is set to scrambles for this date and by default, the number of scrambles you'll get is only one round of 3x3. However, we can play around with that however we like. For example, let's say we want to comp with 3 rounds of 3x3, 4 rounds of 2x2, two rounds of 4x4 four four and one round of 5x5. Five five. You can also scroll down and choose other events for example like one round of square one. Now let me explain to you guys what all of these things mean. The format is basically the format in which the competition is run which is generally average of 5 for these events. However, once in Canada there was like a best of 1 for 2x2 two two finals and that was quite funny. Then the number of scramble sets are basically for the number of heats you have for example heat 1, heat 2, heat 3 and obviously the earlier the round the more heats it would have because more people take part in it. As for copies it's just used for printing purposes so there's no real need for that and as for the number of rounds obviously that's the number of rounds at the official event. Then we can also change the competition name to whatever we want. For example, I'll just put whatever open 2021. And we can also use a password to protect the zip file. So for example, I'll just put cube here. However, this is not completely necessary. Once you're done with that, just hit generate scrambles and it'll start generating instantly. And as you guys can see, it is generated now. And then you just got to hit download scrambles. Once you're done with that, just click on your downloads and open the zip folder. As you guys can see, we do have to enter the password, which is cube. And as you guys can see, it does come up in our downloads and here we are. If you decide not to set a password here, you won't have to enter it while opening the zip. So that's just an easier way out. Okay, so once you're done with that, you can just exit and shut down Tea Noodle and access the scrambles. There are two ways to access the scrambles and the first one is just to open the zip, the computer display PDFs. You can then open the folder and as you guys can see, we have all of the scrambles we generated. Now let's say you want to access 4x4 round 1, however, you now require a password. Where do you get this password from? Now if you go back, you can probably see this, the computer display PDF passcodes which is labeled as secret. Just open it up. As you guys can see right here, we have all of the passcodes, however, the one we need is 4x4 round 1. So I'm just going to be quickly uh, copying that right here and then I'll just go back into here, I'll paste the passcode and then hit OK. And as you guys can see, we have the scrambles now. The second way to access the scrambles is much simpler. Simply just go into printing, then click on scramble sets and then open the scramble set you want. For example, here 4x4 round 1. And as you guys can see, we've opened two of the exact same scramble set. However, as you guys can see, one of them does say secured and that's because it was locked with that passcode. The passcode option is mainly meant for official WCA competitions where the scrambles are being displayed on a computer instead of being printed out. So that's basically about it for Tea Noodle. If you haven't downloaded Tea Noodle yet, I'd highly recommend doing so because it's a great way to practice comp sims. The download link will be at the top of the description below. And yep, that's basically about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Goodbye.